starts with that mana crystal. He can trade extremely effectively. Oh, yeah, yeah. You sure. can bully down. A level one, especially, you can take. So Zed and Kha'Zix, if they can jump in, kill somebody really quickly, there might not even be time for If you're this aggressive, you have backup. It is 100% sure. Ooh. And until he actually walked down a ward, they knew now Danagon was gone. He's oh, like, oh, oh the death sentence, surely. Can they lock on towards him? First blood is imminent. They're going to flash for it. Zephyr gets it. And now Danz has turned the focus. He's put pressure on. Now we're going to see Tin Owens. Can he make a revenge? He's roaming down. He does have level six ready, but they've got a minion line to protect him. Yeah. And then he can land an easy hook or land a flay. Oh, here's the second one. Just like that, Gorilla goes in once again. The flay is down. The Ignite's going. They're going to tower dive in. The Ignite's burning. Zephyr goes for it. One more shot should do it. There it is. He will take tower damage. In comes Danz. He's got the support of Danagorn. Can they lock on towards him? Howling Gale's got some record. Time. Now, you know he's going where he's going to spawn behind you. Whoa. Oh, they're going to try and turn this one around. Gorilla took a bit of damage this time around. Will get slowed down. The double tap from Minerva. Not going to be enough. Flash away from that death sentence. Zephyr still going aggressive. This is tricky, tricky play between the two, but he has the damage to back it up. There goes the Howling Gale to knock him away. Finding a one-on-one. -on -one. I know you want to shut down Arias early oh, on. He's, he's, not, he's in trouble. He's had to flash out of that one. He's going to get flayed up. There's the ultimate from Goom. Everybody piles in. Gorilla took a lot of damage towards the end there. Now they're going for safe. Cocoon dodged out of nicely by save and he is away free. Valkyrie away. Danagorn though. Oh, they're collapsing on towards him. He doesn't get caught by the voice box. That won't slow him down. Throws out the cocoon which will not land. This is a tricky back and forth. Goon fancies this one. What a lot of damage on towards Danagorn. If he can take the jungler down. Manages to repel away. Gets caught out. He's not safe though. The rest of his team not backing him up. Watch jumps in and that pulls out the monsoon. Lep in the top lane. Save going up. And every time we see a fight in the bottom side of the map, oh, White got him. there instantly. He's going straight in for it. Death Sensors does not land. The Ignite is down. That's going to... From Najin, White Shield now is very much on. Watch comes around, tries to lock in towards Minerva. Fight oh! with the White Spikes. I don't think he realized it till too late. And doesn't follow up. Yeah, he doesn't have flash, so... Uh, no. Okay, oh, going to dive. Oh, dive on the tower. Goong, is he going to have enough? That's the question. Tinons gets popped down. Takes himself the shadow. Will come around. They're going to clean out that blue buff. Save all oh. the oh, the cocoon this time. Now, will it be the first? Kill it well. And kaboom, finally strike on that in White Shield. So the mingle lane, take uh -oh. over your jungle. We talked about in Jam Select. They're going for their bottom top. It's a three man pile on, on towards a Kale, which is tricky in itself, but they handle the crowd control very well. Uh-oh, Danagon comes around. He didn't want to join this party. He was not invited. Najin White Shield take him down. This is a 2v1 on the bottom lane, though. Zephyr and Minerva with his dance. Do catch him in the Howling Gale, but it's so dis- The game by just taking over your own jungle, push up every single lane. Save. Has been going head to head. Goom caught out with the charm and just immediately turns that aggression round on towards Tino. Is the Zonya's out? That's enough to force him away. The death centers lands back on and in goes Gorilla. Monsoon forces them away. And this time, for first time ever, Najin White Shield's ultimate is off point. That was a really good disengage by Kaboom here. We had Dan Oh, the cocoon lands on Zephyr. Have they got enough to turn this back around though? Danagon, he's repelled, but he's got nowhere to go. Comes back down. He's saved by. The tunnels coming out from Najin White Shield. Well, they definitely have the power to back oh, up. Lep. Oh, Lev just goes straight in. He's not got his ultimate available. He just used it at Mona to go to save Danagor of the day. But it is Najin White Shield to push through, and they're going to clean up two towers on this one. The hook on left, followed through. Gorilla goes in. Intervention. Is it going to be enough to save the day? I don't think it is. The tower hits are not enough, and Najin White Shield continue their dominance. And These Najin White Shield uh, sieges. They could just continue to throw out oh, no. Arsenal. Oh no, Danagor walking. Wow! Now set. Ward up everything, control your jungle, and keep pushing every single lane. And Kaboom at the same time, once they fall behind, we uh -oh. see them keep trying to fight here, Whew. and it's going wrong. Intervention not available quick enough there. The rest of Kaboom caught out, in they go. Zephyr diving deep on this one. Tino, this time the Zonia's out. That's his only going to save him for He's so alive. long. What is taken low, though? He is alive, and Najin White Shield, they take themselves the inhibitor turret. And the thing is, oh, they still up. up for Kaboom here. They need to chase and try and get some kills. Oh, but they're going to get trapped up. They're fighting the minions instead. They have to keep them up to take him down. The rest of Najin White Shield moving, start to disintegrate that top inhibitor turret. That will go down. The inhib will surely follow. In the mid lane, Save is pushing up with the super minions. That's the hook that counts.
That is going to be left going down. And Naji White in the World Championships group stage here. Slowly but surely closing it out. Dominant win in the end. It was nothing to be that we didn't expect. Trying to count on him trying to come up and save. Save. Yeah. But he, he never took the bait. No, absolutely. It was a very confident performance. No doubt about it for Natchi White Shield. You showed that from the very start of Pick and Bands. First picking a Z into this.